Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about system safety analysis under industrial safety. I am Dr. T. M. Inbamala, working as professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. So, system safety analysis begins with the symbolic model or diagram of the system that is to be analyzed. This can be described in six steps. So, step one is choosing the correct procedure. Step two is breaking the analysis into steps. Step three is identifying the hazards. Step four, implementing the solutions. Step five, communicating the findings. And sixth step, review and update. Now let us see each step in detail. So first step is choosing the correct procedure. Procedure selection to be done by including the following procedures which are to be included in high priority areas. Finding the history of past injuries. Finding the high potential to cause an injury. Finding the potentially high severity of incidents. Avoiding infrequent use and low hazard awareness including the recently changed processes. Then step 2 is breaking the analysis into small small sub steps. Then coming to step 3 that is identifying the hazards. This can be done by asking question by ourselves that is by each employee. Is any lift pushing or pulling required that makes that might cause strain could the employee slip trip or fall do moving objects or equipment pieces pose a hazard or environmental hazards like extreme temperatures lighting or noise a concern or harmful substances such as chemicals dust or fumes involved so asking these questions we can identify the hazards Next, once the hazards are identified, the next step 4 is to implement the solutions. So, here eliminating the hazards, controlling the hazards, revising the work procedures and reducing the job frequency or the solutions that can be implemented. Then, step 5, communicating the findings. So, actually... Uh, other employees are to be educated based on job safety analysis of affected employees. So they should be educated including safety measures identified in the training programs. The last step is review and update. So we have to do periodical follow up taking job safety analysis after an incident then you can change the process or equipment after the job safety analysis updates so this is regarding the system safety analysis and now a number of different methods can be used for conducting detailed analysis some of the widely used system safety analysis techniques are fault mode and effects of analysis FMEA, hazard and operability review also human error analysis HEA, technique of operations review TOR, fault day analysis FTA and risk analysis. Let us see all this in detail in the forthcoming videos. Thank you. Yeah.